Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we have a little bit of a different video. Uh, guest starring Mike Budney's Camaro today. We are going to do uh, track pads. We're gonna get ready to go to Road America in about two and a half weeks or so, three weeks. And uh, we're also gonna do a diff fluid change. So this video is gonna be about changing the diff fluid on the car. I already have a video on how to change the brake pads for these cars or really any car with six piston Brembos. Uh, I'll put a link here or here or somewhere up. I don't really know how this works yet. So it'll be up in this area. Uh, you can click that link if you wanna see how to change the pads. But today we're gonna to be focusing on the differential fluid. So let's get started. Once you've got the car up and ready to go, the tools that you'll need for the actual changing of the diff fluid are a 3 8 wrench, a 6 inch extension to make it easier to get to the fill plug, and some sort of differential fluid pump to make it a whole lot easier to put the fluid in. And that's pretty much it. All right, the first thing we're gonna do after we've gotten the car up on stands is find the differential, which is under the car, obviously. And in this case, this car has an AWE exhaust, so it's actually pretty easy to locate. Find the AWE cross brace, and you'll have your differential right there. Now that is the drain plug. And if we move to the side, see the fill plug right there. All right, before we start loosening the drain plug, we want to make sure that we can at least loosen the fill plug first because if we can't loosen the fill plug and we drain all the oil out, we're kind of screwed. So first thing I'll check is the fill plug and then I will loosen the drain plug. All right, I've confirmed that I can loosen the fill plug. So I'm gonna go ahead and break the drain plug free. Again, 3 8 ratchet just goes directly into the drain plug and fill plug itself. All right, now that we've got it loose, before I start backing it out a little more, we'll get the uh, catch the oil catch can in place. As I'm loosening this, should start to see it slowly drip out. And then just like changing your oil, it'll eventually shoot out. There we go. Now to help with the flow, we can start to vent the fill plug. We'll open that a bit more here. Go ahead and vent the fill plug now. All right, now that the diff is pretty much drained. 
we're gonna go ahead and put the drain plug back in. Now this doesn't have to be uh, tightened a crazy amount. It just needs to be snug and you should be good. Now we'll move over to the fill side. We'll hook up our fluid pump to the new diff fluid and we'll start uh, getting this thing filled back up. So now that we've got the drain plug back in, we're gonna go ahead and use this fancy fluid pump to transfer the new fluid into the differential. We'll continue to do this until some of the fluid slowly starts to seep out. We'll wipe the area clean and put the fill plug back in. Once the fluid starts to seep out a tiny bit, you are done. So we'll get that cleaned up and then we will put the plug back in. All right, and there you have it. Uh, should be all set. Everything's back to normal. The diff fluid is filled and you should be ready to hit the track. Uh, it's a best practice to go do some figure eights in an open parking lot in a safe space to make sure that uh, diff fluid gets sloshed around properly inside the differential. And then you're good to go. Uh, if there's any other questions that I didn't hit, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to them. That's, that looks different. <laughs> Once you've got the car safely on jack stands, you want to find the differential, which is located, what the fuck? <laughs> Go ahead and vent the fill plug now. This is gonna be the worst fucking video I've ever made. <laughs> One of the first things you want to do after you've got the car jacked up and on stands safely is find the differential. Hold on a second. Do that full part again because you're going to have a ring in the audio from when you hit the exhaust. Okay. I'll need my 3 8 ratchet and it. it Something. Okay, cool. Now I got. There's gonna be so much cutting of this video. This video might be dead.